of Oregon. Pursuant to the House Resolution 431, the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. DeFacio, and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Oregon. You myself such time as I may consume. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I rise in strong support of uh, this amendment to preserve the uh, Job Corps a Job Corps Civilian Conservation Center, CCC program. Last month, uh, the Trump administration, uh, in a short-sighted uh, manner, announced plans to permanently close nine of the centers and hand the remaining 16 facilities to private contractors by the end of the year. This is an incredibly successful program. They have a unique mandate within Job Corps to help conserve, develop, manage public natural resources in areas and to respond to natural disasters. The 25 CCCs operate in 17 national forests and grasslands across 16 states and train thousands of at-risk youth every year. Many of these young adults being at risk come from rural communities. Uh, and these programs provide them with cutting-edge vocational training, pathways out of poverty, in addition to protecting critical economic opportunities, providing critical opportunities to struggling rural areas. Beyond this, they provide essential capacity to the Forest Service to fulfill its mission. During the height of the 2017 fire season, 1,200 students provided 450,000 hours of wildfire support, and after Hurricane Harvey, uh, the the uh, students provided 5,000 hours of support to impacted communities. This plan is wrong for our rural communities, wrong for the Forest Service, and it's wrong to abandon at-risk youth uh, by killing this program. Now is the wrong time to be reducing capacity. I urge my colleagues to join me in support of this amendment. I reserve the balance of my time.